Are you struggling as a pig farmer? Are you planning to venture into pig farming? This video is for you. In this video, I will share with you all the details involved in crossing or breeding your pigs. That's, that is all the details you need to observe during the breeding, actual breeding or crossing or melting of your pigs. And this will help a people for success in pig farming business. Hello beautiful people, my name is Priscilla. Welcome to my YouTube channel called Priscilla Business Solutions. In this channel, we discuss everything about business management, money management, sales skills, entrepreneurship, agriculture, and overall personal development. And these are vital skills for you as an individual and as a business owner. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel to get more insights on how to grow your business. Equally on the notification bell, start to be notified once I upload a new video weekly. Equally give us a thumbs up and leave a comment below. Please, most importantly, please share my videos with your friends and where we shall use the share button. Please share my videos. Equally copy the link and paste it in any social media platform. In this video, I'm going to talk about all the steps involved during the breeding stage of your pig. Why crossing your pig proper? I previously talked about the pre-crossing stage of a pig. You can use the link above to watch that video and come back to watch this video to understand it better. You need to understand the pre-crossing stage of a pig before going into the breeding stage of a pig because they are all the work in sequence. After watching the pre-crossing stage, you will now understand the crossing stage proper. Remember, we are running a series on the different stage of a pig life. I have previously talked about the pre-crossing stage Today, I'll be talking about the crossing stage. And in my subsequent videos, in my next videos, I'll talk about the other stages. In my next videos, I'll talk about the gestational or pregnancy stage, the farrowing stage, the lactation stage, the winning stage, and the growing stage of a pig. Remember, it is a series that covers the various stages of a pig life. And this is vital for you to succeed in pig farming business. I'll discuss this breeding stage of a pig using six breeding techniques that you need to observe. Using six breeding techniques. One of the first technique involved in crossing your pig you need to observe is record keeping. The actual breeding. When you want to cross your pig or when, as you are crossing your pig, you need to record the date of crossing. You need to observe the actual crossing date yes you need to observe the actual crossing date and record it except in the case where you are doing pen breeding except when you are doing a group or pen breeding yes but if you are actually crossing one actually crossing one male pig to one to a, one female pig and one male pig at a time you need to actually you need to record the actual date that they cross and this will help you plan and monitor the breeding and plan better. You need to record that date. The second technique you need to observe while breeding or crossing your pig is you need to cross your pig, your female pig, when it is in the peak of its heat, its standing heat. When it is in the peak, that will help increase your chances of getting a greater or higher litter higher number of piglets you need to cross your pig at the peak of the standing heat yes you need to observe the peak of the standing heat and use it you don't need to wait till when it is already past that peak and the heat is already going down if the pig end up getting cross it will not produce the probability of getting a higher um, liter is low targeting the peak of a pig standing heat is more productive is more realistic if you are doing artificial insemination if you want to use artificial insemination you have a semen already you target the peak of the female pig then 
inject it with the cement at that particular peak. The third technique is if you are still doing one on one, one male to one female crossing at a time. If you are still doing one male to one female crossing at a time, you can, and you are not using artificial insemination, you are doing one male to one female crossing. You can cross your piece every 24 hours during the standing heat. You can cross it every 24 hours during the standing heat. If you don't want to do pen, pen or group crossing. Pen, group, pen or group crossing will come in the, second, the next technique I'll talk about. But if you are doing one-on-one, -on -one, you want it to come in, it will cross it, then you separate it back, then reintroduce it after 24 hours. You can do that for 24 hours gap for a female pig that have given birth before. But for a female pig that have not given birth before, you will always introduce the male pig every 12 hours because their heat stage, their heat period is still shorter. You introduce the male pig every 24 hours if you're doing one-on-one. -on -one. If you are getting values from this video, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel on the notification bell. Give me a thumbs up and leave a comment below. Equally, please, most importantly, share my YouTube videos to your friends and well-wishers. Use the, use the share button, copy the link, post this in any social media platform. The fourth technique is doing pen or group breeding. Here, you can decide to keep a male pig to a group of five or four or ten females in a home. It is more convenient for the farmer to do that as to monitor each female pig and target their pig period might be might be a, a another line of work to do if it's not convenient for you to stay in your farm 24 hours observing that doing a pen or group breeding is convenient for the farmer. Here you keep the bees the male pig have a way of sensing, of knowing that a female pig wants it and to mount it and cross it. It's more convenient, but the one-on-one -on -one crossing is still more, more um, productive, effective than the group. The group breeding can be productive and effective too, because that's what most farmers do. That's what most, most farmers practice. They keep them in the hole and allow them to cross. The male pig have a way of knowing that a female pig is on heat and wants it to cross it. And they do that on their own without much effort from the pig farmer. So that's another technique. Most people practice that. Me personally, I practice that. Except accidentally come around and see a female pig on heat and no pig in that particular room. And it's, it's, if most, most times it's not even like possible because... Once you are due for to be on it, you're already in a room with a male. So another fifth technique that um, most farmers do is that they depend on group breeding. Most farmers try to synchronize their female piece to come on heat at a particular time. Yes, maybe if they synchronize that their piece, maybe 10 will come on heat at a particular time or date they will not prepare their male pigs to cross them at that particular time. Most farmers like, I know of a farm that like working, like doing synchronized breeding. So as they are producing, they are selling, they are having batch by batch production. I know some farmers that do that. So that's equally a wonderful technique to master. Get your female pigs to come on heat at a particular, within a duration of two to three days, then have your male pig cross them at that particular... It's, it's something you monitor. There's another technique. Some farmers monitor... I know of a farm that monitor that. So they will have a batch by batch production of piglets. So if they monitor a 10 or more than that, maybe 20 female pigs, they'll cross them at the same period within 10 or 2 days gap. And they'll have them produce almost at this similar period within a week. They have all produced and... They work batch by batch. So in bed, in pen breeding, you can equally synchronize and like the previous one I talked about, you just leave the piece, the female piece, like 10 of them in a room 
with the male counterparts to do their thing at their own time. Why some people do pen breeding but in a synchronized way. So that's another technique. This is the fifth technique. Some people do synchronized pen breeding or group breeding. Then the sixth technique that is very vital while crossing your peak. Yes, at that point of crossing your peak. The sixth technique that is very vital is the body size of the peak. Yes, you can cross a peak, a male peak that is bigger than the female peak. They don't know. They need to have the same body size. The female, the male pig doesn't have to be too bulky or big to cross the fem the male. So that it will work. Um, they need to have the same body size. Maybe I'll have to put a picture illustration of that. You don't go with pigs that maybe a small male pig with a fem a bigger female pig or a small female pig with a bigger male pig. No, you you end up having issues maybe maybe um the female the male pig if it's bigger than the female pig it will cause some um it will probably break the female pig's legs it's possible to break injure the female pig's legs or the way to be too bulky you end up having a serious problem maybe the female pig will be down with um, body problem after the crossing so you need to get a male pig and a female pig that are of the same body size and weight. Yes, this is another technique you need to observe during crossing your pig. You must cross pigs that have similar, similar body size and weight. If you got values from this video, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel on the notification bell. Give me a thumbs up and leave a comment below. Please. Most importantly, share my videos, please, to your friends and well wishers. Please use the share button, copy the link, paste in any social media platform. And if you're watching me for the first time, you're welcome to join this family. This is Priscilla Business Solutions YouTube channel. Here we talk everything about business management, money management, sales skills, entrepreneurship, agriculture, and overall personal development. And these are vital skills. And these are vital skills for you as an individual and as a business owner. Please subscribe, subscribe, subscribe on the notification bell. Give me a thumbs up. Always leave a comment below, please. For more insight on how to succeed in pig farming business, there I have two other videos showing down below now for you to watch. You have how to feed your pigs properly. Yes, if you need information on how to feed your pigs, you have the other one. How to start pig farming. Factors required to succeed in pig farming business. You'll see the two videos down below. Please click on them to watch to get equip, to equip yourself to succeed in pig farming business. You don't need to start anyhow. You need to equip yourself to start the right path. Thank you for watching. See you in my next video.